What is up, everybody out there? Aaron here, here to give you another deck profile. As you can see right here, Sword Soul. This is a Sword Soul deck. Not just any Sword Soul, because there are different versions of playing the Sword Soul deck. You could play pure Sword Soul. And then there's also the Draco Sword Soul, which I'm doing. A Sword Soul deck is a synchro deck, a worm synchro deck. Pretty, it's pretty interesting of how you play a Sword Soul deck, especially with the true Dracos. And then yes, like I said, it is a worm deck. Now here's what gets interesting about them as well. Not just true Draco you can play with them, but also the tuners are not actual little monsters. When you give your, when you're gonna give yourself tokens, the tokens are the tuners, not the actual monster. The tokens you're gonna give yourself are the tuner monsters. So let's get on with the deck, and then I'm gonna show you how it gets pretty fun. So for the staples for a sword soul would be the sword soul of Mui. When this card is no more special summon. Then, what you're going to be able to do is special summon a token. So, as soon as you normal summon, then what you're going to be able to do is reveal a worm card or a sword soul card. Then, you're going to give yourself a 4-star tuner token. Then, what you're going to be able to do is already. So, yeah, review a worm or a sword soul card in your hand. So, normal summon. Reveal. Then, you're going to give yourself a level 4 tuner token. This is your tuner, and already you can go into a level 8. Now, when you do that, sword soul of Moi also does is it's going to let you draw a card if you single summon it. It's an instant already. Just normal summon or special summon, reveal a worm card or a sword soul card in your hand, give yourself a tuner of a level 4 token, synchro summon instantly shit like that. This is the staple well, for a sword soul. So yeah. They're not to they're not tuners. Your tokens are the tuners. <laughs> they're gonna go with the sword soul strategist. This is how this is gonna get fun. You're gonna discard from your hand a sword soul card or a worm monster special summon. Then, what you're going to be able to do is you're going to give yourself another level 4 tuner monster. This is 6, this is 4. That's already to make a 10 star monster. Now, when you synchro summon and you synchro summon with the strategist, you're going to give your opponent 1200 damage to, your, to their life points. Give your opponent 1200 points of damage. That's what's interesting about them. So, let's you draw a card, if you're going to Synchro, if you're going to Synchro, you're going to give your opponent 1200 damage, and only once per turn. And then for my last Sword Soul is the Sword Soul of Tai. And yeah, you saw all right here, they are not tuner monsters. Your tokens are the tuner monsters. Now, Taie, you can discard. Well, you can banish one Sword Soul card or War Monster from your graveyard special summon one Sword Soul token. War Monster of a level 4 tuner. While that token is on the monster zone, the player who's summoned 
It cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck except synchro monsters. Which, yes, this whole entire deck is synchro. There are no Minx, there are no XC, there is no Fusion. It's all synchro. If this card is sent to the graveyard as a synchro material, you can send one Sword Soul card or one monster from your deck to the graveyard. Which you are not going to be doing. And only once per turn. Sometimes what you want to do is, I would play already, this is, this is what you're going to have already to play. Send away Special Summon. That's my main play of what I would use of Taiye. If you need to, of course, do whatever with it, but that's my main combo I would do. And yes, it's so instantly to make a level 10. So don't, because yeah, you are making level 10s in here as well. Level 10 Synchro Monsters. So that's the cool thing about them. Your tokens are the tuners. Not your, not your actual monsters. The tokens are tuners. Now, okay. Now let's go with the Dracos. This is how it's gonna get fun with the true Dracos. If you do not know what the true Dracos do, I'm gonna show you in a bit what the true Dracos do, and this is how it's gonna get more fun. All right, you're gonna go with your first, the three Draco fighters. This, now, again, I'm gonna explain, I'm gonna explain right now why it gets interesting. You can tribute some in this card. Then, okay, tribute, right? We already know a regular tribute is by a monster, right? Tribute one monster to play a level six, to play a level five, or a level six, or seven, eight, tribute two monsters. Now listen carefully about what I'm about to say. You can tribute a continuous spell trap you control instead of a monster. Count that as your tribute. Because if you're gonna tribute one monster to play a level six, you can use your face up or fa face up continuous spell or trap card and count that as your tribute. So you're gonna dis you're gonna tribute one of your face up magic or trap card, and that counts as your one tribute. So yeah, one. Same thing. And that counts as your tribute. You do not have to tribute the monster. You can tribute your continuous face up spell or trap card. Now, anytime a card effect were to happen on your opponent's turn, this is what True Draco does. You can search for a continuous trap card of a True Draco, add it to your hand, or play it exactly already on the field. This is what gets fun about it, and only once per turn. So this is when you're gonna to wanna to put True Dracos in because they're also Worm. It's a Worm deck. Now, Ignis Heat. All the True Dracos have that effect of you can do a tribute by one because True Draco, um, uh, True Draco Fighter is a level six. True Draco is a level five. It's the same thing, but here's the difference. Anytime a card effect were to happen on your opponent's turn, this searches for a magic card of a True Draco. So you're searcher for a trap card, searcher for your magic card. Only once per turn. Same exact thing. And then there's the maiden. Same thing. Duo by one continuous power shot. Tribute. Play. Now, what this one does, search for a monster card. So all three have the effects of a one tribute by a continuous face-up star trap or search for your trap, search for your magic card, search for your monster. All three of them have different effects, but the, but the first effect of doing a one tribute of a continuous magic or trap card, that's the, all of them have it, except they have different kinds. Monster, magic, trap card. And then lastly, okay, this is an actual tuner. The only tuner you have that's an actual monster tuner is the Ecclesia. And I would run two in here, not three. You can do three if you want. 
or you know whatever ratio you want to do when it comes down to you know the true Dra if you're going to play a true draco you know you can play by this you can play by this ratio maybe you want to go one maiden two two draco fighters uh, whatever your, whatever your, uh you know whatever works for you now ecclesia is if you control no mon if you're if, okay if your opponent has more monsters than you you can special summon this then Alright, if your opponent controls no monsters, then you do. You can special summon this card from your hand. You can only special summon Ecclesia once per turn. This way. You can only use this effect of the following effects of Ecclesia once per turn, which is during your main phase, quick effect. You can tribute this card, special summon one sword soul monster, which you this is why you're gonna want to use it, because it's a sword soul effect. Or Fallen of Albas. You're not playing Fallen of Albas, but that's another effect you can do. But at least the first of at least one of the one of the, one of the effects is yeah, Sword Soul. So you can search for your Sword Soul. During the end phase, if a fusion monster goes into your graveyard, add this card from your graveyard, add it, to, add it right back to your hand. So this is your actual only one monster that's a tomb. Everything else is your tokens are the tuners. And yeah, more than you have, uh, your opponent has more, or you just have one monster, and your opponent has like three monsters, well, then you can still special summon. Tribute, bring out a sword soul. Now, that's my only monster, so okay. We'll go with the magic cards now. Let's see, okay. Your only Sword Soul Magic card is going to be Sword Soul Emergence. Sword Soul Emergence is a reinforcement to the army to the Sword Souls. This is what I mean. Activate this, play this Magic card, add one Sword Soul monster from your deck. Uh, pretty much this is what it does. From your deck, add it to your hand. Or if you control a sword soul, if you control a synchro monster, you can add one war monster instead, or one a sword soul monster or a worm monster. You control increase or decrease its level by one until the end of this turn, and only once per turn. So most likely, most likely a, re a reinforcement, thing, a reinforcement to the army. Excuse me, there to a sword soul, or if you have a synchro monster in the field any warm monster so that means you can search for a true draco if you want to but well, it's most likely to search for your sword soul uh, monster it does not matter by the level so even if you wanted to get your strategist strategist you can go for your strategist your moi, whatever whatever you want now here are the true draco magic cards now listen very carefully on these okay i'm gonna go with two heritage not three, and not one, two. This is, this is how it's gonna get fun when you're playing true Dracos. Rather, if you know these or not, but I'm just gonna explain. It's a continuous spell card. Okay. Any, t okay, remember, it could be done by a one, uh, this can be counted as your one tribute. So for example, if you had true Draco fighter, and you had a monster on the field, no matter what it is. For example, yeah, you have Ecclesia. We already know it's going to be, yeah, Tribute to play. Now what I mean by one Tribute... Okay, it has to be done by one Tribute. No, I'm going to take away. That counts as my Tribute. That's the way it goes. Because, yeah, you need to do one Tribute. Fine, then just send away one Magic card and that counts as your Tribute. So, yeah, Tribute 1. This counts as your Tribute. So and then play your true Draco. Now, okay, that's an example of how, like, you know, you would summon out the true Dracos by a continuous magic or spell. Now, it's other effect. When you have this on the field, for how many true Dracos that were sent to the graveyard, that's how many cards you're gonna be able to draw. That's the first effect. Now, here's the other effect. If a spell card, anytime a spell card will be thrown to the graveyard, that is a true Draco, 
The second effect is you're going to be able to destroy one magic or trap your opponent controls. So think of it like a, I don't know, it could be like a plus two. You're going to, you're going to tribute. Play your true Draco. That's plus one. Plus two, throw into the graveyard because you did that. Destroy a magic or trap your opponent controls. That's the way it goes. And then just, yeah, if this was already played and you want to do a tribute, like, okay, for example, yeah, let's say you did at the tribute. Ignis Heat, all right. One was thrown into the graveyard, a true Draco. You're going to be able to draw one card. Or how many that are thrown into the graveyard, and this was on the field already, that's how many cards you're going to be able to draw. Unless it's thrown away. Anytime a true Draco spell card to be thrown away into the graveyard you destroy a magic or trap on the field then there's just the disciples i use three of them continuous spell card all right the first effect okay the second effect is going to be when it's thrown into the graveyard any magic or trap remember as any magic uh, any magic card of a true Jacob that goes to the graveyard, destroy a magic or trap on the field that you're pulling the trust. Now this is the original effect of disciples. When you have this on the field on your turn, if you have three true Jacob cards in your graveyard, get those three, put it back to your deck, shuffle, you get to draw one card. Just the effect. So yeah, interesting to have these cards on the field. You can activate, activate. You have Ignis Heat in your hand. I'm gonna tribute. Special. Magic or trap, destroy it. One was thrown away, and this was activated. Draw one card. For how many? That's how fun this deck can be. The true Dracos. Maybe you know them, maybe you don't, but I'm just I'm just showing you of how the true Dracos work. Then there's just Book of Moon. I use three, but I think, you know, Book of Moon is still that consistent to play. Two Regekis, not one, not three. You don't know if you're allowed three, but I would say just use two. Harpy Feather Duster and a Master Reborn for the Magic Cards. Now, the trap cards. Okay. We'll go with first with the trap cards of the two Draco. All right. You can use three, but I would go with one to, to return. Okay. This is how it goes. If you wanted to tribute a trap card, because, yes, this can be done for, you know, tribute, you know, send it away as your one tribute to play a true Draco. If a trap card is thrown away, you get, to, you get to destroy one monster on the field. So if you count this as your tribute and play your true Draco, destroy a monster. Now this is when you possibly do not want to throw this away because it is a monster reborn to them, to the true Dracos. So what I mean by, okay. So yeah, you can play like, you know, I'm just gonna do an actual play right here just to show you guys how it's done. Of what I mean. Okay. You activated all this. For example, this uh, tribute this. Destroy a magic or trap my opponent has on the field. Count this as my special. 
Now one was thrown away, so draw draw your card because it's your Draco. Bad in him. That okay? Tribute. Maybe you do want a tribute. Special su uh, summon out. Draw your card because one was thrown away. Now here's when you're gonna want to play True uh, True King's Return. At the start of your month, at, at the start of your um, turn, special summon because that's true Dracos. Special summon. In defense mode, in the effects in the game. That's how it goes. You keep on bringing one out. Until the start of your turn again, switch it and the effect goes right back. Now remember, okay, anytime they get thrown away. So even if your opponent I'm gonna get rid of all this. Fine then, go ahead. You send away a magic card, destroy a, destroy a magic trap on the field. You destroy this, destroy a monster on the field. And then the last of the two Draco trap cards is the Apocalypse. Now, here's how it goes. When your opponent has a monster on the field, you can tribute this automatically to put, their to put your monsters half or what you can do is as long as you have a true draco on the field you can activate the effect count this as your do a tribute already on your opponent's turn as long as you're tributing and you're going to play true draco so i'm going to activate tribute play my other and that's the way it goes you can tribute on your opponent's turn as long as you're tributing a true draco to play a true draco That's the way Apocalypse goes. Or you can Shibu, put all my monsters, put all my opponent's monsters to half. So activate, maybe I want to, if my opponent would have like a 23 attack, well, like a 25 attacker, it's gonna hit my Ignis Heat. No, I'll activate, Shibu, Shibu, now they're gonna clash into it, whether if they wanna suicide and hit my True Draco, or they're possibly gonna wanna stop because, oh damn, okay. I don't want to get rid of my monster. So then, what, do, what, do, what is my opponent going to do? Do they really want to get rid of their monster, or they're just going to have to stop? Then there's, okay, we'll continue on. Water of the Dragon Souls. This is to add one worm type. Add it to your hand. So it's like a trap card to search for a uh, to search for a warm monster. Everything's warm. Search for whatever warm you want. And then my last trap card is Sword Soul Blackout. This is how Sword Soul Blackout works. So I got one warm monster you control. Add two and two cards your opponent controls. Destroy them. So it's like a um, Icarus attack. You know Icarus attack when it comes down to. Yeah, destroy two. So, uh, Icarus attack. You know, tribute one wing beast and then destroy two cards on the field. So it's all almost the same exact thing. Also, this card is banished. You can sp you can special summon one sword soul token of a. That's all it is. And that's what gets interesting about them. Is that how interesting it is? Alright. Dallas deck. Now let's go with the extra deck. Alright. Sword Soul Chisaizo. I believe that's the way you say it. Grandmaster. You need a level 8. So it requires 8. If this card is Synchro Summon, you can add one, you can add to your hand, or banish. Let me get it. If this card is Synchro Summon, you can add to your hand, or banish one Sword Soul card from your deck. Quick effect, you can banish one Sword Soul card or one monster in your hand or graveyard, then target one other effect monster on the field, you get its effects. Most likely what you want to do is, yeah, 
As soon as it's synchro summon, search for a sword set card. So it's just another way to help you get another sword soul. This is one of the big ones right here. Okay, this is a level 10, but remember, I showed you. Level 10's not that hard to do. The Sinister. The Sinister can be pretty a little broken. Because the Sinister is... Okay, it's a level 10. Any tuner, that's not a war monster, but yeah. Everything's warm. If you single summon another war monster, well, this card is on the field. You can draw one card. If your opponent special summons a monster, except during damage calculation, you can banish one of those monsters. And if you do, inflict 1,200 points of damage to your opponent. You're going to be able to banish and give your opponent 1,200 points of damage. When your opponent activates a spell trap card quick effect, you can banish that card. And if you do, yes. Inflict 1,200 points of damage to your opponent. Only once per turn. That's the Sinister. And then there's Sword Soul Chingy. These are the Sword Soul Synchro Masters. So, and then there's more. So, yeah. This, I'm starting off with the Sword Soul Synchro Masters. So the Souvenir Chingy, for each banished, this card gains a thousand. For each banished card, this card gains 100 attack and defense, and all other monsters your opponent controls lose 100 attack. But this card will be, dis will, be dis will be destroyed by a card effect. You can banish one of. You can banish one other card in the graveyard except itself. Well, you know, from it being, from it being destroyed, just send away another card. From it being to stay alive. As well as, yeah, you can banish one card. And if you do, you're going to be done once per turn. So pretty much, your savior. If it's going to be destroyed by like Raigeki or whatever, okay, then just send away another card. Banish away to keep it alive. <laughs> Crazy, huh? Now what's not Sword Soul is okay, yeah. We're making level 10, so bear on the floor. One of the like, crazy, you know, synchro monsters. Broken as hell. Rudy Rose Dragon. Okay. You don't you don't really use this card, but I would just put it in. Rudy Rose Dragon. This is not Black Rose Dragon. Rudy Rose Dragon. If this card is simple summon, you can banish all cards your opponent. You can banish all cards. From the graveyards, from the graveyards, banish him. It is hard, we're super summon using Black Rose Dragon, which you're not. You can special summon, yeah, Black Rose Dragon, but no, you're not doing that effect. But you're using the main effect, which is to banish all cards from the graveyards. Rudy Rose Dragon. You're not that much gonna put it in, but you know, just have in some, you know, cool cards you can put in. There's the Draco Berserker of the Tenwai, we know that one. Scarlet and Red Dragon Archfiend, you know, you can have that in too. And then uh, just a Ying Yang Zing Brightness. Of course, there are others you could put in. If you like Red Dragon Archfiend, put in Red Dragon Archfiend. You like, um, I don't know, what else is it? The original Stardust Dragon, you can put in Stardust Dragon. Because yeah, you're, just, you're making a lot of level 8s and 10s in there. So yeah, it gets, it's a single deck, one deck, and it's pretty fun. I tried the pure way, the pure way didn't work for me. But what worked for me so well, you're not gonna go that fast with this deck, but if you wanna make like a lot of things already on the field, you wanna play a lot of cards on the field, and then yes, when you have those continuous spell trap cards of the two Dracos, that helps you for doing tribute so you don't really have to get rid of your actual monsters. And then yeah, anytime they're thrown away, they have effects of, remember, anytime a magic card of a true Draco is thrown into the graveyard, you destroy a magic trap your opponent has on the field. If one of your if one of your trap cards is thrown into the graveyard, you destroy a monster on the field. So that's a sword soul true Draco. So 
Hope you guys enjoyed this. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll be doing a video next on how it's played since it'll be the test hands. I will speak to y'all later. Peace.